fucking bad guy. Hiya! And that. Yeah! Oh. Hi, Gramps. Well, hello there, Noah. Practicing your martial arts, I see. Looks like fun. Well, yes, but it's not just for fun. I want to be a soldier in Jesus, for Jesus Christ, so I have to be ready. Hiya! Yeah! Oh, well, that's admirable, Noah, but Christ's enemies aren't going to be defeated with chops and kicks. They won't? Well, what kind of enemies are those? Well, Ephesians 6.12 says, For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in heavenly realms. That's Satan and his army of fallen angels. They're spirits, so karate isn't going to defeat them. Oh, well then, what does a soldier for Jesus do? Well, that Bible passage in Ephesians goes on to say for us to put on the whole armor of God. Armor? We get armor? Cool, but... But wait a minute. If karate won't help, then how is armor going to help? Well, the kind of armor you're thinking of won't help, along with being uh, a problem, to, hard to get in and out of, and heavy and hard to move around with. Uh, it won't stop the enemy's attack. Our armor is much better. Oh, Gramps, please tell me. Well, all right. In verse 14 and following, the Bible says that in order to stand firm, we need to buckle the belt of truth around us. That's because Satan is the father of lies, and we can only defeat him with the truth of God. Oh, well, now that's a good start. Then we have the breastplate of righteousness in place. A uh, breastplate will protect our hearts. Yep, so the enemy can't attack our emotions and make us feel worthless and unloved by God, and so we can love him more each day. Then we need the right footwear. Ours is to be the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. Readiness to spread the gospel of peace. Soldiers and peace don't seem to go together very well. Oh, but they do. Armies are the best use for keeping the peace between the rulers and the opposing ones. But we believers all have God's peace, and we want to share it with everyone. Well, okay, with the army in readiness, the enemy is less likely to attack. You got it. Then a God soldier is to take up the shield of faith to stop the flaming arrows of the evil one. Oh, that would be really important to stop Satan's lies and threats and the evil he controls in this world. Finally, we're to put on the helmet of salvation to protect our minds from confusion and evil and wrong thoughts. Oh, we couldn't do without that. This is all really great, Gramps, but it's all for protection. Don't we get any weapons? Just one. And it's all we need. It's the most powerful weapon in the whole world. What is it, Gramps? Uh, a huge cannon? Missiles? Bombs? Nope. Remember, these enemies are spirits. Our weapon is the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Cool! We are to train with this sword, just as soldiers in the world train with their weapons, and we use the armor and his weapon with prayer. We are to develop a constant habit of prayer. And our it's our main source of power. You see, Noah, God promised never to leave us, and he never will. But if we want to be especially close to him for a battle or comfort or just to have a wonderful fellowship time with him, we fill our prayers with praise. Psalms 22.3 uh, in most versions of the Bible, is translated that God inhabits the praise of his people. Wow, now that is altogether the coolest thing I ever heard. Ooh, I may never march in the infantry, ride in the cavalry, shoot the artillery. I may never fly o'er the enemy, but I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir! 
I'm in the Lord's army, yes, sir. I'm in the Lord's army, yes, sir. I may never march in the infantry, ride in the cavalry, shoot the artillery. I may never fly o'er the enemy, but I'm in the Lord's army, yes, sir. <laughs> well, I'm glad you feel that way, Noah. Oh, 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 what? Well, the, the best part of this armor, besides not being heavy or hard to put on or hard to move around in, is that it's invisible to the enemy and to the world. Even our swords are disguised until we use them. This is perfect. Oh, it can't get any better. Woohoo! <laughs> Sound the battle cry, see the foe is nigh, raise the standard high for the Lord. Gird your armor on, stand firm everyone, rest your cause upon his holy word. Rose then soldiers, rally round the banner, ready, steady, pass the word along. Onward, forward, shout aloud, Hosanna, Christ is captain of the mighty throng.